So there's this website called Capital Trades where you can look up politicians' trading data. If you look through this site, you'll see companies that you'd expect to see, such as GE, Nike, Amazon, and so on. But occasionally you'll see some obscure company that isn't well known, such as Flex LNG. I see Flex LNG, and so I click on it to see who has bought in it, and I see this woman, 79-year-old congresswoman, Virginia Fox from North Carolina. Not only is she on here as one of the listed buyers, but she is really the only one who has bought in this stock besides these two guys. And she's been on a bit of a buying spree over the past half of year. Naturally, this piqued my interest, so I wanted to dig in and find out more about this company to see if something I should be looking at investing in. So here's today's video. Why did a 79-year-old congresswoman from North Carolina invest in a Bermuda natural gas shipping company? And should I? Okay, so Flex LNG was started in 2006 by a group of people, including this guy, John Fredrickson, a Norwegian-born oil tanker and shipping billionaire in partnership with Exmar, a maritime engineering and shipping company. And it's currently run by this other guy, whose name I cannot pronounce. Oyston, I think? What's great about Flex LNG is that it's a simple business to understand. The company ships liquefied natural gas from exporters to importers, essentially like a moving pipeline, and that's it. Flex's customers charter their ships to send their natural gas to their customers. These are often very long-term charter contracts that can last several years. It's as if you were to charter a yacht off the coast of Italy. It's their boat, their workers, you're just there. And in this case, you is the natural gas. The process of shipping natural gas is pretty simple. The natural gas is cooled to negative 260 degrees Fahrenheit so that it becomes liquid and it's easier to ship. Then once it gets to the final terminal, it is turned back into a gas so that it can go to the end customer as a gas. The ships used to transport LNG are special LNG carriers, which, as it sounds, is a tanker designed specifically for transporting liquefied natural gas. Flex LNG currently operates 13 LNG carriers that were built between 2018 and 2021. 13 is a good amount, but this is still well behind the largest LNG carrier owners of MOL, NYK Line, Qatar Gas Transport Co., and MISC, who own double to triple the number of ships as Flex. In 2019, the company moved its fleet management in-house, so now it owns, operates, and manages its fleet instead of outsourcing part of that to a third party. So just to summarize how the business works, a customer who has natural gas that needs to get it across the ocean will call Flex and negotiate a contract to charter one or multiple of their ships for a number of years. Flex then delivers the LNG from the supplier to the customer. Customer. Just like their business, Flex's financials are not too complicated. They finance their ships, operate the ships, and then charge customers for transporting the LNG. The difference is their profit. So the better the financing terms, the more efficient they operate, and the more demand for LNG, the more money they will make. A shipping specific metric to look out for is the TCE or the time charter equivalent. This is the average daily revenue performance of a vessel and Flex has increased from just over $70,000 in the second quarter to almost $76,000 in the third quarter. Additionally, in Q3, the company generated revenue of $91 million and their cash flow from operating activities was about $71 million, which is stellar on revenue of $91 million. This cash flow is way up from $52 million in the second quarter. And as we can see, in Q2, they had made a big prepayment on some debt. And in the most recent quarter, they had a big positive adjustment from the extinguishment of some debt. The company also declared a dividend of 75 cents a share, which as we can see is almost all of its earnings from the quarter. They don't have a long dividend history, so this 9-10% to yield number, while it's nice, could be a bit misleading if you're looking for dividends going forward. The company is currently in a balance sheet optimization plan where they're refinancing their ships to get some free cash out. This plan will provide them with an estimated $300 million of free cash. Since a big part of their business is financing ships, we want to make sure that they have a decent interest coverage ratio, which is the ratio to determine how easily a company can pay the interest on its loan. A good interest ratio coverage is 2, and as we can see, theirs is a little bit over 4, which is nice. And as expected, most of the company's assets are tied into their ships. Specifically, about 86% of its total listed assets are in their ships, so this is definitely an asset-heavy business. So what's the outlook for the natural gas industry as a whole, and specifically Flex? Well, the Energy Information Administration, or the EIA, has forecasted lower wholesale prices for natural gas over the next two years. This implies there's weaker demand, and most likely there will be less need for LNG transportation. But overall in the future, natural Natural gas demand is expected to be strong and continue to rise. Natural gas is expected to overtake coal and become the second largest fuel by 2045. The most recent EIA storage report shows that there was less natural gas in underground storage than as expected, which implies that there is a higher current demand than was previously expected. Because of the Ukraine-Russia war, demand for U.S. natural gas has risen, which should help flex as they have U.S. customers who need to get their gas to Europe, such as Chenier out of Houston. The company is in an industry with built-in boats. It's very capital intensive, with each ship costing hundreds of millions of dollars, so new competitors do not come up often. They also have long-term contracts with their customers, which provide stable and predictable revenue, and the longer the company offers operates, the better relationships it will have with those customers. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in Monday for our next video. Have a great weekend.